So they said that Astrobot would destroy Nintendo in Japan. They said that Astrobot would win in Japan. Well, guess what? We have the sales here. Kind of like a Stellar Blade. No one is buying Astrobot. Okay. This is a strange phenomenon where anything Sony puts out, no one buys. It is just that simple. People don't care. People on PlayStation don't buy games. Okay. I wonder how many people on PlayStation only bought a PlayStation because Sniper Wolf or Mr. Beast or whatever influencer told them to buy it. Okay. Like, it was very cringe, the 20, 2021 to 2023 era of YouTube, where every YouTuber was promoting the PS5 like it was the greatest console ever. Okay, I get it, it's, it's a sponsorship, blah, blah, but, you know, kind of like what I see in older videos, and they were like, promoting Genshin Impact or <clears throat> Raid Saddle Legends, like, it's just cringe at this point. I get it, YouTubers want to make more money, but this is the sale. How many copies did Astrobot sell in Japan? Only 12,672. Yes. The best selling game in Japan was this game called Tohu Tobacco Kagawa for Tales of Lost. That always sold 60,000 for a but Astrobot could even get number one in Japan. Could even get number one in Japan. That's pretty funny and pretty sad at the same time. Everyone was pretty to ask about this game that would destroy Nintendo in Japan. That Nintendo would be destroyed in Japan by Astrobot. Well, guess what? Japan, the Japanese do not give a crap about Astrobot and PlayStation 5. At the PlayStation 5, we just did an all time low in Japan of 11,000 consoles being sold. Okay, that is pretty funny and pretty sad at the same time. I guess Japan doesn't have Sniper Wolf to save the PS5 this time. And Mr. Beast. Alright, Mr. Beast and Sniper Wolf are both cancelled anyways. So yeah. Goodbye.